Hey guys, Tyler the Big RV here. I'm here with my brother Tim and my friend Steven, and we're going to be trying ah, Bun Bundaberg, and this is their ginger beer. It's brewed, and that's why it's in this unique bottle, actually. The bottle top you open with this. This thing. I, I, I need to give him a close-up okay. of that. It's got a little tab. So yeah, this is interesting. I wonder if there's anything to read for Steve. I'm a brewed to be better, that's what it says. Always family owned. There's nothing really that's. Oh, wait, there's this tiny little thing. It's always cloudy. Can you read that? It's really tiny right there. I suppose. It's always cloudy in a bottle of good old fashioned ginger beer. Hold this bottle to the light and you'll see it's full of real ginger pieces, traditionally brewed to a genuine old recipe to release the natural flavors of ginger. Well, it's kind of hard to tell. The sun is setting a little Shake bit. Shake it up. I, I not well, no, don't shake it. I'm sorry. It's uh, a soda. I more meant like. Turn oh, it I can see it. Down. Can you oh, see? Oh, yep. There we go. That's. So I'm a little worried. Yeah, that's pulp. So I'm a little worried. For one, we had um a, we had a ginger ale a long time ago, Verner's, which did you can almost feel the spice in there, and that was really good. We all gave that at least sevens. And then. But then we tried <laughs> nature for. Not tough, please. Yeah, and uh, that was really close, and also had pulp in there, and that was awful. <laughs> so. Let's hope that this nice, it, it, they said it's brewed, which is just how Werner's was, so hope I hope that at least, uh, it doesn't have to be similar, but it tastes as good. So pull out, then up, is what it says. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, dang. Look at that. All right, guys. This is an interesting bottle. All right. Bundaberg Brewed Ginger Beer. Wow, it's clear? Well, kind of. Yeah, it has I mean, a look. Kind of looks like ginger ale. Yeah, light like ginger ale. I'll give you some. I'll give you a little bit more. Well, it definitely smells of the ginger variety. Oh wow! I'm, uh, <laughs> oh boy, this smell. I'm worried because this kind of smells like nature frisk. It does kind of smell like nature frisk. <laughs> oh, but great. Uh, well. Let's do it. Bottom sideways. Not as <laughs> bad. Oh, Stephen, are you okay? Mm. So, the beginning taste is okay. It, it, it has a different sweetness, but you taste the ginger and it's, it's, it's alright. Um, the thing gets, the ending flavor just gets this kind of like very, very sweet, and I do not like it. It's just too sweet. One thing I loved about Werner's, it did, you could feel the spices, but when I said spices, I meant it. Like, it like almost had like a peppery, mature spice to it. This tastes almost like a really, this tastes like a kid's soda. And, like an actual, made, made for kids, it's really trying to be really sweet soda. That's what it tastes like to me. And, I, you know, I just don't like that because, you know, it's just too sweet for me. It's a, I am an adult, I understand that, but I like Werner's, what? That's 40 grams of sugar. In that one bottle? Yeah. Oh, great. Uh, this is and plus, I just saw that it said brewed for three days. Werner's is brewed for three years, I think. Oh, no, 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 it's aged for three years. I don't know how long this is aged, but still, I just don't like it. It's too sweet for me at the end. I liked, I loved Werner's because it had that nice, you get the spices to it. This one doesn't have enough. It feels like it's just appealing too much to a kid's soda. I would have to disagree with that statement. Because the kid in me, nor the adult in me really enjoys this. You um, enjoy it? No, neither the kid nor oh, the okay. adult. So I don't, I don't really enjoy this soda that much. Um, I think the initial taste was a lot worse than what it is now, I think. And now that I'm just tasting it a little bit here and there. Now, it's not bad, but I've just never really been a fan of any kind of ginger sort of drink. The spices just don't agree with my taste buds very well, and this is really no different. Though the and the ap the aftertaste is much preferable to the taste as you're drinking it. That's my big thing. So, uh, it is a very sweet soda. The smell of the ginger is kind of overwhelming. The taste ends up not being overwhelming. I mean, for the amount of I think they have a good amount of ginger in there, to be fair, but it is just overwhelmingly sweet. Uh, I'm, I'm left with 
sweetness in my mouth that feels tangible. And that's just way too much. Uh, if they had cut the soda by, like, cut out a third of what they put in there, I think it could be a decent ginger beer. But right now, it's just way too much. Well, uh, my, my taste is the same. I was sipping on that a little bit. Still, still the same for me. Way too sweet. And I'm going to give this soda, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. I will also give it a 4 out of 10 because, well, it was much worse initially than it ended up being after a couple of drinks, but it still just doesn't fall on the side of good for me. I'm giving it a 3.69 because the, again, it's just, the sweetness is way too overwhelming before and after the drink. Well, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm tired of the big review. Click on Steven to watch his movie review channel, The Detective Steve, and click on Tim for an interesting video. Again, thank you so much for watching. <laughs>